Man, welcome black. That should work. That's fire. Black two boys show episode numero Santo Chase as usual. Where man keep at the range by two K Jones. Jabala, which want to call him? Man, to my left, it's your boy Marge, man, the menace. Any girl might like a dentist. You know how we rocking, man. We already know what it is. The CEO, the prayers, Robert God, Rob philosophies. Whatever you want to call me, baby. You got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Patreon, Discord, Discord. going up every single week, getting close to two hundred members in that Discord. If y'all not in the Discord, go ahead and get in it. Mm-hmm. Link in the description. I don't care if you're listening on YouTube. I don't care if you're listening on audio platforms. I don't give a damn where you're listening. Go ahead and get that Discord to all the people that's in the Discord and just fans in general, people that are in the Patreon, three dollars. Appreciate y'all, that. man. Y'all get live streams every single week. Y'all get extra segments every single week behind the scenes. Extra three hour plus long podcast things that will never be seen on YouTube gonna be on there. And plus, you helping support the show. So appreciate everyone coming through. And yeah, man, let's just let's just get it going. Let's just get it going. Man, I got a goddamn bone to pick, man. <laughs> now, y'all know I like my tall boys, Mamba Delos, tall cans, preferably. And you niggas, see, 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 you see the faces already? You no, see the faces already? Like them tall boys. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, That's fucking ridiculous. Ain't no wrong with no Modelo, man. Ain't no, ain't no wrong with beer in general. I ain't drinking no, no beer. No, nothing hey. wrong with beer. I was drinking no, beer last night. Shit. Ain't, no, ain't, no wrong, ain't with no, beer. no wrong with beer. You niggas just hating. You it's, niggas it's just... chill. Like, right. you, like you bar, especially from motherfuckers that barbecue or, or attend barbecue, like, you mm-hmm. just go with it. Mm-hmm. It go with it. It go with them ribs. It go with them 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 them, it, them burgers. You know, it's, you know it's, it's like wine and steak. It just goes them together. Franks. You know what I'm saying? Go okay, with them. okay, okay. You you ain't around no girl Frank. You see no, you know you see what you, no. see, you see what they do. You see what they do. <laughs> no, you see what they do. Ain't gonna lie. You do got a track record of doing that. Yeah, he does it every single time. Y'all be together. I'm with him together. Then, and then just depart. Yeah, he does. Sometimes yeah, you gotta sit together. Yeah, so we on the same side for a reason, but this nigga just be right. Every just, time. You were just, you were just. They got better loyalty on the other sides. You, were just, just, you <laughs> was too excited about the Franks. That's, that's all. No, he's too, too excited about the Franks. Too excited about the Franks. Too excited about the Franks. Three bites. My God. God damn. Maybe four. You doing that shit in two. Well, it depends. I don't be loading it with a lot of stuff though. Yeah, that's true. I don't really do all that stuff. I just do that. I prefer barbecue sauce over over ketchup and mustard. Uh, but it's still yeah, weird though. Like I ain't never heard motherfuckers be like, "Oh man, this hot dog good. I, I can use a beer." Well, it's grilled. It's a grilled hot dog. No, it's not roll, man. I'm saying you at the cookout. When you, though. When you grilling when, beers, gotta, okay. gotta when you be there. when you grilling, okay, I yeah. got gotcha. you. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. even afterwards. Yeah, yeah. but I, I would never you chilling music playing in the background. It's just it's about. I would never be eating a grilled Frank and be like in my head. Man, I could use a beer right now. Well, that's that's you, nigga. Some of us want some beer with our friend. That there's nothing wrong with what I said. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That one didn't hit. You <laughs> know that one didn't hit. I don't know, man. I just I don't know. they've been on one. They've been on before we even started filming. <laughs> just back to back. Everything. You can't say nothing today. Like it's like more than usual. No, you can't say nothing. You? But no, nah, man, ain't nothing wrong with beer. I don't give a damn. Call me unk. Call me old ass man. God damn it. I would drink my tall boys and, and be happy with it. Well, you do that. Uh, tall boys. What, what, what are tall boys? Like the it's cans? A, yeah, it's tall, a tall cans. Can. I don't drink those, though. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I drink the whole can. Yeah. Well, I mean, I prefer a bottle anyways, but I mean, yeah, I'll, drink bottle, a, I'll drink a, a tall bottle. Yeah. It's, almost like, it's almost like when you're drinking wine, like, you know, DJ, his, his ass would go just get a red solo cup and put some wine in that motherfucker. But, See, that's know. weird. Why would you Why? put it in a red solo cup? Nigga, we ain't got no other yeah, cup. We, we don't got no glasses. Come I mean, on, be I, fair. I, I, okay, <laughs> I, I, that, I'm that, that, okay fair, given yeah. that that's fair. That's you know, but, I would just wait till you get, I, would, I would go out and just buy a wine yeah. glass. To not be che- fair. They, get some cheap ones. Yeah, a set of wine glasses ain't that ain't, ain't, just look, You don't got to get a whole bunch of them. I still feel like this nigga would put it in a red solo cup. Anyway. He would. Yeah, yeah. I probably would. <laughs> oh, he was a black, so, so ass. black as hell. You can't do that, dude. Black as hell. I mean, I can't do that. I do it all the goddamn time. Mm-hmm. You got issues, brother. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. And this nigga be sipping the little mamas. Nigga, this nigga, this nigga, nigga be sipping on the little mamas. No, I ain't had one of them in a minute. Damn, it's been a minute. For that <laughs> oh, wait, like, you talking about them coolers? Yeah, oh, you got to drink motor oil. You got to drink motor oil. If you ain't drinking it, you ain't if you ain't drinking the shit, I should call you a little mama. Get you yeah. a little Corona, put a little lime in that. Right. Bro, it's actually, it's really don't even it taste bad. That bad. It really don't taste it really don't taste bad. I don't I don't mm-hmm. understand the appetizing taste that I mean, y'all get from beer. It's it, not it's not supposed to be Kool-Aid, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but like Yeah, you said but, yeah, you be saying the same shit about it. It's not yeah, but I'm saying good. 
motor oil though. Like that motor oil. It like no damn motor oil. It don't taste like no damn motor oil. I can't trust your 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 taste buds at all. Nigga. That's okay. You don't gotta trust them. They're not there for you to trust. Hey, so I'm, <laughs> well, <laughs> they there for me. What was you start cooking for niggas? Well, oh no, I never do that. You see, you selfish. How am I selfish? I'm you not. No, I cook about. because I enjoy cooking because I know what it's gonna taste like, and I know I'm gonna like it. Well, he also, that sounds like you're not confident also, in what you cooking. Well, right. y'all got, given this nigga also eats dino nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> dino <laughs> nuggets and broccoli. Shit. That wasn't dino nuggets. Dino that was nuggets. fried shrimp. Nigga, literally fried dino shrimp. nuggets. Literally yeah. fried shrimp. Give up. Kid cuisine, mac and cheese. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, that is not how that goes. Give up. <laughs> anyway, shit. Either way. <laughs> but no, I hear you. Yeah, beer beer <laughs> is not supposed sorry. to taste that good. It's not yeah. supposed to taste good. It's not. But that all makes it seem like I say vodka and all that shit tastes good. No, I never that. but, but you, you said Hennessy vodka. tastes good and shit like that. I feel like I, feel I like, said Hennessy makes me feel good in my stomach. I Man, I've heard you say you like your stomach. Just taste yeah, good. the way it sits in my stomach feels nice. If if it's not an occasion, I feel like liquor is just doing a little too much sometimes. That, no, nah, that was crazy. I ain't gonna y'all pause everything I say, but y'all can't pause. What did he that. say? Yeah, that was crazy. Say likes the way the liquid feels in his stomach. Yeah, we're talking about Hennessy. You still a liquid? Is it not? Yeah, but like, why are you sitting? Okay. Rightfully yeah, so. Yeah, they definitely on one. Rightfully but, uh, so. Man. No, I know you I like, no, I I like, like the way it sit in my stomach. Been, Brandon ain't going to be the only one getting it today. All right. You get it too. Thank you. All right. Thank all right. All right. Well, we pointing them all at everybody then. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do nothing. Oh you can't God. do a damn thing. Right. Now you want to live. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Victor Ferg, we didn't do any of this shit. He's a victim to his own shit. I'm done. I'm done. This motherfucker's a victim to his own shit. It was just part of the cycle. Trying to get on somebody else he got, got. Yeah, well, was kind Jackass. of Jackass. You know what? Yeah, what up? Move on, man. Oh, my God, man. Man, I got a little something, man. You know, I'm a job. You know, you, you encounter all kind of motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And there's this one lady there that she literally thrives on talking shit. She's hilarious. But she don't do nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why. That's giving. That's why she always talks talk shit. shit. Yeah, 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 she just yeah. talks a lot of shit. And she came yeah. up to me the other day and she was like, have you noticed that man over there? He smells like a woman. Okay. And I was like, what? What do you mean by that? She was like, well, he smells good. He just like a woman scent. He said, man, smoke the bitch. Wow. <laughs> so how would y'all feel if, you know, you walk past the man, my fault, and, you know, he got a, he's using a woman's body wash or a woman's fragrance? I wouldn't care. Yeah, I wouldn't really give a damn. I use women's deodorant. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. What? There it is. There it is. There it is. The, Char there it is. the Charlemagne clip just popped in my head. Women's dove nah, hit. Nah, that ain't it. Women, no, wow, no, nah, the nah, women's dove hit. Y'all tweet. That ain't it. I knew it. I knew Real it. niggas know. Ah, I played all nah, that. That ain't it, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I knew he was saying something. Nigga, shit. why? Yeah, you go out your way. It's like, that's the one thing there. That, that's, but nigga, you go out your way to get that. I mean, walk I past don't. All the men's deodorant and get to the women. Okay, 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 say, okay, I, okay. Can, can, right can, can we chill out, please? <laughs> nigga, that's what the fuck you just said. Chill out, please. Some, some, some of the men's, you know, uh, deodorant make the armpits itchy, man. So when I use the women's, you know, <laughs> it, it feels better. Mm. You not buying that shit. <laughs> Rightfully no. so. Go and get you that uh, get you, get you the get you the uh, the arm and hammer, whatever it's called. No, no, get you that Dr. aluminum free. Get you that. Or get that Gillette. Or anything aluminum free, man. That shit ain't good for you. Yeah, that's funny. That that's boy. funny. You know, but that is that's crazy though. though. It is kind of expensive. I tell you, it's the the the, the, the uh, Arm and Hammer is both inexpensive, smell good, and it's good for you. I just don't like that it's uh, the white powder. It ain't yeah, white I powder. Like, I don't like the powder shit either. It ain't white powder. The last Arm and Hammer I had was. I mean, there's be. gel. Yeah, there's gel. Yeah, they got all both. The I'm saying it's very. I seen the gel. No, I be getting gel. I just need to get on. I need to get on that, man. Get on that. Nah, Full out using speed stick and some old shit. That wouldn't be at all. <laughs> speed stick is crazy. <laughs> this, uh, be deodorant be expensive. Yeah, Facts. deodorant is expensive. Exactly. For no goddamn expensive. reason. Facts. They charge you $8 for one goddamn stick <laughs> deodorant. I know that's fact. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, native that. is like 12 I guess yeah. you know what, I got you. Or you go get you some uh, goddamn motherfucking, uh, what's the shit? What's the shit? Old Spice? Old yeah, spice. no, we don't yeah. do that no more. I got me one at the crib, I ain't gonna lie. Old Spice has like the loudest smell, though. Yeah, I like the smell. That motherfucker That timber? That timber? Facts. Yeah. That motherfucker smell nice, man. But the motherfucker goddamn commercials. Motherfucking armpit be a little. I told you. Looking like a monkey. <laughs> okay. All I right. told you. So like what y'all like y'all gonna question is uh What is sexuality because you wearing Well that's what the girl was doing. Oh no. She was like, Is that's he right. is, is he gay? I'm like, no. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well like what? I, yeah. I, I was kinda of, I'm like, what well, do you want to smell like ass? 
You get like, 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 no, I don't understand. No, okay, you, you jump into extreme. She ain't say want to smell like. Why you come with She literally had a. She admitted that he smelled good. Right, but she don't want a man to smell like a girl. She, right, that's all. That's women's sense. Like you gonna walk around wear perfume. But right? I'm I'm telling you which which choose which uh you gonna choose out of the evils. But does he always smell like that? Maybe he just ran out of body nah, wash. He, in usually, shower does. he usually does. And smell like his that. girl body wash happened to be there. He, he usually, usually does smell used. like that. Oh, he does normally. Yeah, he cool ass dude though. He smells good. It's not like I didn't. I didn't really take it as no woman's fragrance anyway. I just thought it was like. Oh, she was just overplaying her part then. I think so. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, you know, little, that's what I posed the question. Yep, yep. We found yeah. out a nigga was wearing, you know, women's uh, body wash and shit. What, what would you think? I don't think it make you know fruitcake or nothing. It's but better than smelling like ball sack. Yeah, you know. I Agreed. Look, look at you with a side eye. Niggas just walk, up, like man. just smell like walking ball sack. Oh my god. Walking pear <laughs> nut. Oh my goodness. Oh, they, this motherfucker's in my job. Like I, I just Hair don't understand. Nuts. Hey, clocking there, stinking should be should be illegal. <laughs> nah, bars. No, nah, that shit should be fucking. That's illegal. like that's a disruption for everybody else. Now my nose is fucked up, and I'm confused brain. What, my thing is, we ain't did not an hour of work yet, motherfucker. How is you stinking? Right. How? Fucking, dick cheese. Like them niggas that used to sweat in gym when they got there. Yeah, that shit was always weird. It was always weird. Niggas, in mind, speaking of the workplace, what you got for us? Man, I, man, shout out to, to Riley Freeman. Stop snitching. <laughs> God damn it. We need to just stop snitching in the workplace. If it's not affecting the entire workplace, stop fucking snitching. God damn it. So I, I would guess you got snitched on. Yes. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Were you fucking and, up? And, you no. Okay. So for those who don't know, I, I work in one of the Amazons, but... I'm not Amazonian. I'm, I'm one of the recycle techs. So I'll grab the cardboard, dump it, you know, do do little shit like that. Okay. This motherfucker at work, I guess, it was real slow this day. I mean, there was I walked in, no bins, you feel me? So we can sit down for at least an hour and a half, dead ass, an hour and a half, and not have to touch no garbage, right? So me and me and the homeboy, we sat down. Little white homie. Grab it, grab my empty bins, just walking around the warehouse aimlessly. Going <laughs> nowhere. Just walking around. Looking busy. Look. Okay, cool. That's cool, right? Do you mind your business? Do you? Why does this motherfucker go to my manager? They're not doing anything. Nah. My manager goes, okay, go go sit down with him. And, you know, that's how if you're mad about it, go sit down with him. <laughs> if the manager tells you to sit down, motherfucker, go sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> go sit your ass down. If there's nothing to do, why the fuck are you asking for work? Why? Why? Why would you? Well, be- there's people that wire like that, they get yeah. paranoid when they're not working. Ask. Nah. For yourself for more work. Yeah. Don't go trying to make everybody else do shit because you're playing, bored. I'm playing devil's advocate. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. It, it, it's that part for me. It would be different <clears throat> if y'all was sitting down and it was creating more work for him because then I would have a problem and I would be like, hey, man, I ain't doing all this extra shit. Tell these motherfucking niggas get up. Go get this garbage. <laughs> God damn. Facts. But ain't shit to do. And I'm just walking around, see these motherfuckers sitting down. Might go take a seat with them. Yeah. Exactly. I definitely would. So this <laughs> motherfucker goes, nah, I'm going to find someone higher than you to go snitch. So oh this motherfucker <laughs> sat in the front office for oh, okay. 45 minutes. Oh, he's, a he's a tier four. Page. But it got him out oh, of work. It's ironic. Yeah, that's, what, that's, that's the ironic <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was doing all that bitch in the morning about not working. That nigga just ended up <laughs> not, not working his goddamn himself. And, and then, well, the nigga probably got back to work while he was in there complaining. I, nigga, I did. <laughs> he did. We got back to work while he was in the office complaining. <laughs> Manager like, he complained yeah, about crazy, y'all. Man. I should write him up for just sitting in the office. It was there. So it was everybody's time. An hour maybe goes past. He goes, if you got, we sat down again because we cleaned up the warehouse and sat back down. He goes, if y'all don't send him home or if y'all don't send both of them home, I'm leaving. He's just looking for excuses excuse to leave himself. It Versus sounds like it. It sounds like he was looking for something to work. Yeah. It didn't sound like a two-way This nigga either. tried to tell my manager to send me home. That deserves... How old is this, this brother? He got to be the same age as us. Oh my smackable goodness. offense. That is a smackable offense, isn't it? But if you think yeah. about it, why would he send two people home to have one person instead of just sending you home to have two people? Mathematically, the math ain't math. They look, he fucked himself. And I just think some people just shouldn't be given jobs. So what happened then? Oh, he went home. (laughs) (laughs) He just didn't want to be there. He just didn't want to be there. Stop snitching. (laughs) Goddamn psychology. Stop (laughs) stop snitching. Hey, hey, we real was pulling that out. (laughs) We figured that shit out. I mean, I'm not playing devil's advocate, but okay, maybe I am a little bit. Not okay, not for that situation, but there's just some lazy niggas. I've been looking at him like someone needs to get this motherfucker to work because he ain't gonna listen to me. Because he ain't gonna listen to me. That's bars. 
Like it was just one man. <clears throat> this is one big ass girl that used to work at my job, man. She wouldn't do a <laughs> damn thing, and she was just talking and talking and talking. And they would just let this woman slide. Mm, they would yeah. just let this woman slide every single time. They probably she over there it. knocking down ice honey buns like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she going to go get them bitches, and they not making it back. <laughs> they not making it back. They gone. Only thing they make it back is that damn rapper. She throwing that motherfucker away by the time she get back every God, time. Damn. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh, no. Like, good Lord. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. And then, but how do you get pretty privileged when you're not pretty? I don't get it. It's, 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 it's I don't they, get it. They understand by the look of her receipt that she probably wasn't. Motherfuckers are still much. knocking that down. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. She yeah. owns a twat. Oh, my God. That was so funny the way you said it. <laughs> unfortunately, a bar. Yeah, unfortunately, a bar. If he ain't got none of this shit, well, this motherfucker work, though. <laughs> do it work. Yeah, that's it. That's, 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 that's enough. Hey, that's, that's the, the one that good thing about me being a manager. I don't have to worry about that shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers not doing a job. Hey, it's a motherfucking ass up. Let's go. Yeah. Damn, that's gotta be kind of gotta be kind of fire. Mm. I would I would, I would abuse the hell out of that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to abuse it. I, would, I don't care that abuse much. Abuse the hell. No. Um, dangling from, from uh, you gotta eat this week, don't you? Oh my God. <laughs> God, damn. I mean, he's oh, not wrong no. necessarily. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that. I know some people that have done that. Okay. Yeah. In past job. Just threatening to fire the ass for a small thing? No, just fire just send them home. Yeah, you know? Yeah, hey, if you yeah. work with me three days out of the week and you only work five days a week, nigga, you're missing three days of pay. Yeah. That's life altering, goddamn. Yeah. 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 A lot of motherfuckers paycheck to paycheck anyway. Facts. Yeah. I don't want to fuck nobody over, though. You're just an evil nigga. Well, I mean, you bullshit. Like, no, I can't help that. Shit. I mean, it is yeah. bars. You got to show me that you want the money. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Y'all, by the time y'all watching this, that beef, Kendrick, Drake, apparently it's over. I don't know if it's over, over, because I feel like some sneak this is still going to be thrown. Oh, hmm. definitely. For the next couple of months. Especially by Mr. Mr. Arbery Graham. Especially by him. Meet the Grahams. I'm gonna see, but maybe I don't know. I feel like he might just not even be subliminal, subliminal anymore. He might just start just saying motherfuckers' names, just because he has like this mindset. You see him; he's still posting on Instagram. Him samurais going against armies and shit mm. and whatever. But at this point, it's very corny. Um, it was it's corny this, from the start. Well, actually, stupid. it was less corny from the start. It was because it was just random niggas. I'm gonna say random niggas, but kind of random niggas that were not the main event, just trying to get into it. Bars. But now it's just like, bro, you knew what the main event was. Like, I feel like you deflected. Cause yeah, he got his ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Definitely. They say, "Oh, but it's twenty v one." No, nigga, we not paying attention to other guys. We talk. Right. We are examining this one v one. And nigga, you, you lost, lost. <laughs> in you every lost. way, shape, and form. You lost. Definitely. And like, you know, I'm very glad that our all pretty much all our takes the day age beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, a lot of times that's not the case. Oh, 100%. I feel like we 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 waited a little bit. We used to just when one little thing happened, we said things that were just so super strong. But even our strong statements, those age like I t- like. Fine wine. When I told y'all Kendrick had meet the grams and euphoria in the gun, I told y'all he was waiting on it. He said, Drake, say it. Beaming. He was waiting on it. And it was just. He was waiting on it. And then the not like us is just, man. Oh my God. That was the dance on the grave. Literally. Yeah, well, literally. Well, that nigga great. That nigga emoted. Literally. <laughs> literally. Stepping this way and that way <laughs> on the nigga great. That nigga, nigga great. emoted. That nigga's <laughs> crit walking on. It literally. Yeah, crazy. It's fucked up. And you got BBL Drizzy as the motherfucking. Uh, <laughs> And credit music. That was the end credit oh, music, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but uh, Metro, he not safe. He's, oh, no, he's still uh, making yeah, drums. You, well, you ain't getting no beat yet. I'm on your ass. Uh, well, Metro Groomer. Drums, but also he, them old tweets of that mm. nigga. Like, look, like I said, oh, yeah, cancel I culture, yeah, I people that. digging up old tweets. I'm not a fan of that. But, but, but <laughs> when it starts for opinions, okay, but this is the type of opinions you want to be. <laughs> this is ones that you can't even defend. God damn it. <laughs> I think um, Metro was hilarious, bro. You, yeah, you, he he just saying some basically along the lines of you know don't matter what age is, she's still getting knocked down. She, yeah, it's along that nature. Wait, if Metro said age, that. Yeah, it's along the, the line. If the age is on the clock. Yeah, type so, type beat. Oh, oh. Yeah, he was saying he was saying some crazy shit, and you could say he was just joking, but name the type of jokes you need to be not yeah, making. Yeah, yeah. Those are just yeah. for it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The Metro and, grooming, and definitely not if you're famous. Aww. Obviously, it was before he was famous, so you know, now they call him a Metro grooming. That's uh, crazy. You know, we try to be as least, you know, as little hypocritical as possible. But you know, uh, so yeah, nigga, you're strange as well. Definitely strange. I don't give a damn how old you were, teenager, whatever, nigga, you're strange. Mm. That's not okay. But uh, in terms of the main event, man, man, I love it, and I miss it. Mm. I miss okay. it already a little bit in terms of Twitter, because uh, now that uh, the dialogue on my feed was just 
It was nothing but that. Now, granted, that shit got annoying too. Don't yes. get it twisted. Hell yeah. But um, I did not miss a lot of these relationship takes and things of that nature. And just whatever bullshit you see on Twitter in general. I was seeing a lot less of that. I'm, I was, was enjoying was it too. Diff- it was a lot different. It was a I lot was different. seeing a lot less prawn, and I was happy. I mean, it's back mm-hmm. on my feed now, but... Yeah, it wasn't too, was it wasn't, there wasn't too much ass. That boy was... So you had a bad day. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that much ass on there? It wasn't. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's still ass, but it was being, <laughs> it was being lost in the algorithm because they're more important things. <laughs> lost mm-hmm. in the algorithm. But now, it was, just, but now you know it's it's not 100 percent back, but we 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 definitely getting back oh, to the booty. No, it's back for me. Oh, hell yeah. Hell I'm still seeing booty. a lot of things. I'm actually seeing a lot of people give their props finally to Mr. Brown the Big Steppers. Mm-hmm. I have seen that too. A lot of people. I, yeah, seen I said Reddit, better now Reddit. than never. Better late Whatever. than never. Better late than never, but I, I'm just proud to say that I was on board from the start. I've been had the vinyl for like two years now. Mm. You know, we I've been on that. That's my that's my favorite Kendrick Lamar album right now. Is it? I I said that probably whenever we did the last. I don't know. I think we ranking mm. Kendrick albums or some shit. We did that on one of the episodes. I'm pretty sure I said a Mr. Round the Big Step is number one or something like that. Mm. And I, I thought you can argue his past four any of his past four albums is his best. Mm-hmm. Personally. But that right, I think that's just his most personal stuff that we need, man. I'm oh, saying yeah. that from the start. That was therapy for the black coach. I I really just think it was just too, it was just too mature for a lot of people. Mm. Yeah, I really, yeah. do. no matter what people want to say, that's just how I think because it's really just the case of any of his albums. I know? mean, I still personally put to Pimp Buff out over it. I respect yeah. that. If I'm looking, if there's, if I'm going to look at it, it's kind of it's pretty subjective for the most part. Just from an objective point of view, as much as I can, I'm gonna say T Pap is his best one. Hell yeah. But in terms of like my favorite and the one I've been resonating with the most is Mr. Morale. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, well, I wouldn't objectively. He got the Pulitzer Prize off of Damn, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess. But I feel like the, he got he got that. That's also the build up. That's true. It's build up from his past work up to that. Yeah, that's like true. you're not gonna get it off your first or second major LP, right. you know. But yeah, I said. I mean, when I went to when I went to the Smithsonian Museum of a. Uh, African American history and culture, like when it first opened in DC, mm-hmm. Kendrick had his own like little, little, almost like his own like little exhibit over there, and they really? had T Pab just going. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. But that's I'm telling you, that shit, that album was like it's just not even just Black history. That album was just American history. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah, I definitely put that. But yeah, I already miss it. Um, now it's back to, to ass shaking. I want to see ass when I want to see ass. You know, if I'm, sometimes you're not in the mood to just see booty all the time on your screen. Facts. Sometimes you want to be able to just open up your phone and scroll Twitter, and you know. Not motherfucking put your relationship in jeopardy or some shit. <laughs> what I'm saying, why don't you just you know use different apps? Booty's everywhere. Your ass up, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> booty, booty, booty is if that is a perfect response. Booty's booty everywhere. is I mean, everywhere. You can but, dodge it on YouTube for sure. Yeah, you can dodge it on there. But I be the, I don't I don't really have it on Instagram. No, okay, that's right. Yeah. I don't have it on Instagram. That's, but that's I be I go on no. Twitter, bro. I like to know what's going on. If you want to know what's going on in terms of social media, Thanks. that is. Bars. I would say Twitter is the best spot to be. Yeah. In terms of everything, so. Uh, politics, whatever, music, sports, and, and booty, and booty. <laughs> All types of booty on there. Oh, and it's unfortunate that that's what's going on with that. Uh, my phone dead. What, what, what we got next? Who next? Well, speaking <laughs> of news, you know, the Mike Tyson fight, and it's coming up very soon. Now, I don't know why, you know, a lot of people are excited. I personally am not. I'm actually kind of scared <laughs> for both of them. If you believe it or not, because, you know, this is clearly a money grab. Yeah. Mm. They're not, you know, it's not going to be regular boxing rules. They got, they putting their own rules in there. I it's going to be a handicap. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty, sure they're wearing, handicap. pretty sure they're wearing headgear. That's ridiculous, though. Um, All that kind of stuff. And, you know, this screams scripted, right? So when I was listening to some old heads talk, and they was proposing the idea that, like, let's say, because Mike Tyson damn near 60 in that damn yeah. ring. Yeah. So... On one side, you could say, well, let's say, you know, he get whacked. His nigga starts going through some issues literally right. on the damn fucking ring. Right. Yeah, that, awesome. that don't scare that's, shit out of anybody. That's why I'm saying, like, why the why, fuck is this young-ass nigga Jake Paul why getting is this fight handicapped? Happening? Why is this fight happening? Well, you don't but know why it's happening. You on the other other it's a money yeah. grab, but I'm just saying, like, do we really want to see this shit? On the other mm, side of that don't coin, matter, though, watch DJ, it. on the other don't side of that coin, it. that nigga Logan can really get hurt. That was Wait, about to be Logan? 
Oh, was bro, I think it's primarily Jake though. Yeah, it's Jake. Yeah, but Jake, but I think Logan can tag in, can tag in or something like that. Oh, okay. Oh, like is that what? The I'm pretty sure it was so, I saw something stupid. like that. Like, no, no, that might be a decent handicap because three gut punches from Mike Tyson might make you want to go tap out. See, and yeah, this is why you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm thinking it's scripted. I think both of them have an idea of what's gonna happen in that ring. But let's say somebody like Mike gets hit too hard and it pisses him off, or he says it's a little bit off script. And now Mike starts going haywire on this nigga. That nigga's gonna die. <laughs> like, and the fact, like the fact that they're doing tag-ins for boxing, it's not making out. Yeah, what is that? Scared. They were scared of this old ass nigga. Like this, what is this WWE? No, we don't do that. This nigga, nigga yeah. bit off a whole man's ear. I would be terrified. <laughs> like, like, his ass with a prostate yeah. punch. <laughs> <laughs> His ass be out there, motherfucker. I'm saying, like, this is crazy. Like, this is insane. Like, I, I, yeah. I like boxing. I've really mm -hmm. gotten into it over the years. <laughs> mm -hmm. This ain't nothing. I really like. I'm gonna watch it, of course, because it's there. But like, I, I don't think I would have ever asked for this, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't. I'm not desiring to see a 60 year old get in the damn ring with a YouTuber. See, Jake's not really Jake a YouTuber, but he's a trained fighter now. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he he like, that's just a joke. That's like, he did. definitely put in the work. He definitely put in the that's work. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why there's this tag team shit. That's yeah, fucking like, stupid. Yeah. He's a trained boxer. Yeah, he's been now. training for like, like the what over five years now, yeah. right? And he's fought. Yeah, he's not like built. He's fight. built. He's yeah. athletic. Like, like I don't know. I just don't think this is necessary. And I do think there could be consequences for both sides. Yeah, he done knocked out some niggas before. Come on, we still ain't recover from Nate Robinson. Yeah, ain't gonna he done knocked out plenty of black motherfuckers in there. He's just yeah, doing yeah. it back to back to back. To put where all you can do is just giving us a bad look. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely giving us a bad look. But I, 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 just, I just don't understand. Like, as the viewer. Nate you know, is like, still on the flow. Oh my God. As we speak. That nigga did not get up. Did, did, that, did we see that nigga get up? I don't remember that nigga getting up. <laughs> it was bad, for sure. Uh, that's like we boxing. We no, they make a bro look like <laughs> folks says from Rocky. <laughs> Arm behind his back on some family guy. Look like Dra what is that nigga? Drake off Draco from from uh, no, Rocky. I've... Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen you haven't you seen, seen Rocky you before. Seen Rocky. Never seen Rocky. That nigga don't watch movies for real. No, I really don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, read books that nigga on his ass. I definitely read books. You don't. Know. Ah, you got a couple. Yo ass can't even finish Cat in the Hat. <laughs> I did three times. You ever read a uh, if a mouse if, if a mouse you asked a for a cookie gave you a yeah. cookie if you give yeah if you give, if you give a mouse to, if you give a cookie to a mouse is that how you say it? if you yeah, give yeah. a mouse a cookie if, if you give a mouse a cookie, cookie. There you, go. you ever read yeah. that one yeah that was solid well I did, I got read too that was in like first grade yeah really just had that book man I don't know that about book that. that book was nice no cap really read that Captain Underpants too <laughs> oh I had that whole collection Back. Captain Underpants was nice Captain really Underpants was, was nice that was nice movie was mid though I ain't you saw the movie it was very ass I didn't watch the movie oh shit. I think we might have been gassing up the books too. Nah, no, nah, for, for a kid's book, yeah, for a kid's book, I think it was yeah. good. It was. I'll say it's like a couple steps behind Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is legendary. Go though. An underrated one is a, a true story of a, of a part time Indian. I don't know about that. No. I remember him you talking like about that great movie. Like that. <laughs> what? Great, great book. What? Great book. I read that when See, I was in middle You school. like you don't read it all? No, I, that, that 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 book would actually make a good movie. <laughs> Real motherfuckers have read that one too. That's a real good read. <laughs> good, man. I like this. We talk about books uh, and shit, man. Yeah, man. Nigga, man. Yeah, I ain't read them no more. Oh, you know, good. Good. Man. Talk speaking about the past. good to remember this. Of books. There's a theory from a book called the Men's <clears throat> First Love Theory. Mm. And the idea is you have your first love. And something that procked this thought in my head is actually a TikTok I seen. It was a guy saying, the one that got away. You all, you all have the one that got away. That you think about still every once in a I while. I think about still. Nigga, every once in a while. Ask, you can't. You can't. Oh, I think yeah, I'm going through that right now. Question. Yeah. But I guess I can't ask you two niggas this question. But do I think there is one that got away. Yeah. Is, do you think there is one that got away? Nah, I plead the fifth. Okay, plead yeah, the fifth. That's plead, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we get what we 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 get what we need to get out of that. Regardless. Uh, well, Oh, fuck. Well, I say that. Now, let's just move on, nigga. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> I said nothing. You know, for all my single men out here, for all the people that are watching, I'm sure you had that girl that you were like, man, if this one thing went differently, I wonder. I wonder. Right? Mm. You got to let that shit go, man. Got to. You got yeah. to let that got shit to. go. You living in the past. And like I was just saying before, I watched this TikTok and they were explaining the comparison between that past and how you uh how you um 
over man, what's the fucking word? How you over fantasize that past, right? And you compare it to your present, present life, yeah. and it makes your present life feel even more shitty than it than Damn. you think it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going back on that, that I actually say no. There's there's in the past I felt like someone got away, mm-hmm. but now in my current staff, like I'm yeah. living the opposite. Like you living the dream. You ain't need that. Yeah, type well, shit. I feel it. it wasn't really on nothing for real. Right. Yeah, that's bars, man. I just wanted to. I wanted to talk about that. But shit that is real shit, though. I wanted yeah. to talk about that shit because that's definitely something that I've gone through myself. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's like man, definitely. Just thinking definitely back, have. you know, <laughs> you know, you know, being a slayer, going through the rounds, going through okay. the motions. And you like just be that. thinking back like, oh my God, if that one thing changed. Yeah, it'd be a whole different me. Well, she didn't have a kid. Oh my God. Well, she Who said that? One of them, two, kids, really? two kids, one of them in a wheelchair why you, and shit. Why did you think that first? I got a homie that's going through that, went through that <laughs> oh shit recently. God. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. crazy. Wait, what is I in a wheelchair? I knew it was too specific, so like I knew someone had to be going through this. <laughs> Golly. <bro. laughs> Yeah, man. I hope the best for that brother, man. That's my, oh, Jesus. That's my brother right there, man. Oh, this is unfortunate. Man. Oh, man. Besides that, she was a real good one. woman. One of the motherfuckers can't even walk. Yeah. Damn. Oh, they can't. All his ass wheelie. <laughs> Shit. Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus. I hit no button for that, brother. Oh, my God. Jesus. This wheelie is crazy. No, I'm no, 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 stop. Hey, no. Stop. <laughs> don't tell me what to do, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Hell no. Oh man, like, mm. dog, bless his heart, bless yeah. his heart. This nigga, man. <laughs> Come on, bless but his heart. You know, though. Speaking of motherfuckers that can't walk, Brandon, I know you had a, a topic <laughs> about something that <laughs> something what? about the women. That's cool. Something about a, a name that the women call you in the bedroom. I, I, more of a question. I don't know about this damn segue. <laughs> I think yeah, it's good. I don't know about that. You, you, you don't make them walk. You make them not be able to walk. However, speaking okay. of love and shit like that, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, that's good. That's good. Hey. How do y'all feel about when women call you daddy? I prefer poppy. What? Just in general. <laughs> just the same shit. Um. Well, what? Well, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends who. Well, okay, I'm not daddy. <laughs> I prefer poppy, but it depends who poppy's coming from. Facts. Okay. Because I feel like if you just black as hell or you Asian like, or anything besides Latina, like, it yeah, don't work. It don't hit. Okay. That's what it you're It don't saying. work. You're forcing it. So if that's, that's the case, I'm going to go just say uh, my name then. I'm just mean in general. Like, you know, oh, oh so like, oh, but so if she's not calling you pop, you don't like it when they call you daddy? I didn't say I don't like it, but I'd rather you just say my name instead. I like when you say the name, my name too. Yeah. Call out my name for sure. No, no. Is the. Uh, What's up? Is the word in play? <laughs> What? God. <laughs> you know, nigga. <laughs> like, what? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait how confused is that? Wait, what? I knew that was coming, bro. I knew that dumb shit was coming. Yeah, I was waiting for it. That's what I'm just like, yo, yep, you just say it. You know, you know, nigga, you know. Oh, so, uh, they gonna call you a nigga? Yeah. Oh, is, that, is that a play for y'all? Shit. Oh, it's because you call me nigga? Yeah. Is she black? No. <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all what, man. I tell y'all what. Oh, Lord, Lord, I'm much. always fucking with my girl, bro. I'm always playing with her. So like sometimes <laughs> this is hilarious, bro. Sometimes I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you real one. You real one, bro. You real one. You real one. Bro. I'm playing with like, go ahead. Go. Bro, ahead. you know what's crazy? <laughs> like about that is like there's this girl at my job. Oh Lord, you told me about this. All and right. I, I be we be trolling with each other. So like, uh, I had told her I'm like, yeah, like don't, don't say nothing too crazy. Mm. Actually, yeah. just say. But I was like, you know, have you ever had a man, you know, let you say the n word in bed? She said, what the fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's, I imagine that's a realistic <laughs> response. Yeah. She was like, and then I was like, you want to try? It? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, but she knew I was trolling though. She knew I was trolling. So she was like, and you know, she plays along and shit. She's like, well, I mean, if you ask nicely. And I was like, bro, she's so funny with that shit. I don't know. I'm down. I'm down for it. I'm yeah, I, I, I'm not like, I'm, I'm not surprised you said that because I've heard you say some shit like that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far would you go? Uh, I, I think we need to refrain from ER. Oh yeah, um, as 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 far as possible. From actually, 
at that point, if it, slips once, more I it. if it slips once, I wouldn't be mad. Like she just hitting you, like you know, hitting me. Well, no, I'm my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's HR kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. This nigga's hilarious, bro. I'm sorry. Let's just move past that. I did not mean to say it that way. If you hitting it, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. She's like, you know, I love you. Your N word, C O C K. Mm. Oh, I would laugh first. I would yeah. laugh. <laughs> I would laugh. I oh, laugh. I would laugh. Hell yeah. That is funny. It is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Like, I mean, the way yeah. I put it, I put it like this. It wouldn't stop the rodeo. <laughs> At all. That's At bizarre all. as hell, though. But I don't know if I could be with shit seriously if you just come in. That's <laughs> but, bars. She, she ain't call you that. She just called you, you know. That your, might be your, like your, a, an your occasion. Sword. She called your sword that. Yeah, what? A, a nigga. They say it got two minds of its own, man. You could low-key separate the two. Well, if you live that way, brother, that's that's okay. <laughs> hey, I, mean, I wouldn't mind. Well, you I know, about either. you know, this takes me back to a Kendrick bar, though, because like, what, what is he about to say? you know what I'm saying? So you know how like I don't really I don't really mess with the white women no more, right? But if I were to, and I let them call me the N word and bad, you know, like ancestors watching me fuck retaliation, yeah. maybe I would be into that more. Not Are you other. speaking in the sense of you have an audience, nigga? Do I, no. Wait, my bad. Because the ancestors are watching? Give a little applause. Duality. I disagree, but someone agrees. I think, I think, I think he owes up, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm thinking about it, but like. Well, you know what? I, I don't know, man. You got a white girlfriend, man. No, <laughs> you got a white girlfriend, man. <laughs> Come on. I see where it says that. <laughs> I, I had to ponder it. I'm like, you know what? I'm rocking with that. Type shit. I'm rocking okay. with that. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. Yeah. yeah, I think I can fuck with that, man. Yeah, yeah, You know, because yeah, I, yeah. really, I don't really fuck with the white women. You know what I'm saying? But if I did... Right. You know what I'm saying? Some excitement. I'm going to shoot somebody. <laughs> I'm going to shoot somebody a text real quick. You know what I'm saying? Gonna Ask him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna, what the hell? I'm going to try Add something. a little flair. Yeah, I don't you know, agree. You know she's going to the group chat with it. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't My agree. man just let me call him nigga. Girl. <laughs> Girl, he just let me say he got that nigga. Like, Come on, man. Like, Hell no. Nah. Girl, you know, my man don't so funny, bro. He let you say it? For real, my man don't let me up. Uh, you don't hear that. this out loud. I take it off. <laughs> I'm not condoning this You got to play both sides, though. You got to be aware. Right. You got to you know be aware what's coming to happen. It's some bullshit, but, you know, okay. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it, you know, just spice up life a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Spice up your bedroom experience, you know. Yeah, you. For me, yeah. You. It ain't happened yet. But <laughs> Anyone that agrees. You know, it hasn't yeah, happened yet, but I won't be surprised if it do. I mean, to get back to the original topic, though, I'm not a big fan of being called daddy either. I don't know. It's, very, it's rather strange to me. Why? <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. But did, I, did you grow up calling your dad daddy? No. I did not. No, no. I called my dad father. Yeah. Oh, I wow. My dad, dad. Yeah, dad. I call him pop now. Pop. Yeah, pop. Yeah. But when I was a boy, I called him father. God damn. Okay. I don't know. I've been too many girls. I got daddy issues. Nigga, and like, that would creep me out. Okay. Father. Yeah. Right. Was it Star Wars? Nigga? Father. <laughs> yeah. Can okay. I go outside, father? Yeah, Star Wars? Yeah, nigga, uh, like, get out of my face, little nigga. Yeah, nigga from the 1930s or some shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm old, between man. white women and college athletes. Oh, I can tell you what's going on between them. Probably all of that. Straight railing. Sure. Straight railing. Oh, wow. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Um... But no, I like being called daddy. Because I think what people get it fucked up is because there's a lot of people that they just can't handle it. They say, oh, I don't like when they call me daddy. That's weird. I'm not your dad. This is all true. They're not, you're not their father. <laughs> but you're looking at it in the wrong way. Right. You know, you call your dad, dad. Mm. You call me daddy. Right. You know, okay, that's bars. 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 See, that's you, bars. You see, you, what they got it fucked up is we, we, you got to, you can't just call you that from the start. Mm. You got to earn that. You doing mm. your shit right, you earn a title of Thanks, daddy. I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, can't you, choose your father. I'm saying when you make her feel safe, she start calling your daddy. You can't choose make your father. Make her happy, she start calling your but daddy. You Ain't nothing wrong daddy. with that. That's bars. <laughs> That's bars. bars. Y'all looking at it in the wrong way. You broke that down. You nicely. start making her happy, she start calling your daddy. That's what's so. Make her feel safe. All that. You know, you they start see the fruits of your labor. See, they missed the bars. You gotta me, earn me, that. Yeah, they did. Me personally, I watch a lot of pimp movies. Okay. So like. When he be like, go ahead and do this for me, baby. Like, okay, daddy. Like, I, I, like, I was like, you know what? Oh, okay. I like, that's I, another way to like look at that. it, too. I that's like that. another way to look at it, too. I, like I see that. that. And when I say, you might be looking at all oh, about these daddy issues. Nigga, everybody got daddy issues mm. to some extent. For the most part, we, uh, for the most part, the vast majority of us got some sort of daddy issue. Mm. You know so, them. you know what I'm saying? If you know the mother. But, but that's still issues, though. Yeah, that's still the, the issue. The issue is you don't know the motherfucker. Mm. Yeah, they, so, they you say. know, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. 
Ain't said. nothing wrong with that. All the variations. Poppy. Find, if any language. Find all types of sort of languages. <laughs> Say, I'll, call me that shit in Urdu, goddamn. Oh, my God. I'll be with it. Oh, my God. For sure. Do you know what it is in Urdu? No, nah, I need to look it up, though. Someone didn't look that, up, that shit up, bro. I'll fuck with that. Fuck with that. I might just tell my girl to say it for no reason. Yeah, they just request that. I need that shit said in Japanese. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some <laughs> shit. I ain't mad at that. I need that shit said in That's Japanese. That's bars. I ain't mad at that. But anyways, we can move on, man. We can move on. I just want to get that off my, my chest. So, you, know, you know, look out for some brothers here. Just look at it a different way, man. Y'all look at it in the wrong way. DJ, what you got for us, man? You know, I got another little scenario that I want y'all to uh, ponder over. Oh, um, You know, so one of my homies... Uh, I tell us. His 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 uh shorty wants to up and uh go to the military. Now my question to y'all is, cause this is very random. They've been together for a decent amount of time, about four or five years. Okay. Now if said if let's say your spouse just up and wants to go to the military out of nowhere, are you going to stay with her? No. And it should be the same way, vice versa. Because yes. we know what goes on in them goddamn forces. Yeah. 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 I mean, I said it was like a, like a long distance relationship. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I see. Yeah. I see. But it, but it's that leveled up. Yeah. My dick don't stretch to Fort Wayne. I wouldn't do all that. Bars. <laughs> but I, I, I was bars. Damn. That's a really that. good way to put that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's bars. Shit. I don't know, man. And like, um, I've heard, you know, because basically my homie was telling me, and she was upset with him, you know, saying like, "Oh, right. you don't love me and woo, woo that." Uh, okay. But I'm like, I, I like say I feel the same way about you know people who be together and one of them goes to college. It, it's literally the same thing. You're right. You know, you st- one oh, stays boy. home, yeah. and the other one. I say college even worse. These forces are inevitable. Hundred percent. Because that's part of the experience. They, that's what they do. Part they, of the experience. They log on to Tinder University. Mm. Everybody in the motherfucking mm-hmm. university, everybody on campus got that shit. Mm. They mean everybody. I wish I went for a semester. I went for one semester. I would have been a goddamn dragon slayer. <laughs> it, it really doesn't oh. take much, my brother. It really does not take much. <laughs> I don't like niggas, man. <laughs> With a lot of big girls. But you got you to be careful because they're going to break that twin bed, nigga. I got no twin bed, nigga. I got a queen. If you hey, at college, you're going to be in that, oh, you be in okay. that twin. Bars. Bars. Twin XL, but twin nonetheless. <laughs> Bars. But they make them pretty sturdy. They know what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. Shit. Yeah, they know what's I don't going trust, on. you know, mil- I feel like the military ain't really, and it's not even me being sexist. I don't think the military is a place for uh, women. Certain certain branches and shit are not places mm. for women. But they say dudes getting it on that motherfucker too. What? Mm. I, hey, that's what I was told, man. Don't want to dig on it. Expand uh, upon that. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh God, no! You could. I think you could put the pieces together, Brent. I mean, when you're yeah, when you're in the na- when you're in the navy, you know, you know, you know, you know what they say about the navy. Well, what do they say about the navy? What? You know what they say about the navy niggas? What, what do they say about the navy niggas? <laughs> I don't the, know. The seamen. No, <laughs> 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 good. They are seamen. They are. <laughs> they're, they're seamen. The saying, oh my God, man! Where the ridiculous. fuck you hear that from? <laughs> nigga, you never heard that joke? No, nigga, that's a good. One. You gotta watch Family Guy. Oh, that's good. nigga, Craig Myers dad. <laughs> no, it's crazy because I was in the navy. <laughs> it was in the navy. I do know a gay dude that went to the navy. Yeah, we all, we all, we be you and Brandon do, yeah. and DJ do. Yeah, yeah. I know somebody that's in the navy yeah, for sure. Yeah, boat boy. Jesus Christ, I'm a boat boy. Like in his boat, rock like a motherfucker. Oh my God. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah, bro, man. it's wild. Out. Y'all wild out. Man, shit. You know, you got to do what you got to do, I guess, you know. So y'all all saying hell no? Uh, no, yeah, that's, no. that's a hell to the no, no, yeah, no. That's a hell to the <clears throat> Yeah, if we not yeah. getting married and living on base so we can all get a nice check, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I already struggle with the idea of doing something long distance, but to you to be going to the military, it's just too much shit that goes down. You know, motherfuckers doing them drugs, going through crazy shit. Mental state is fucked. Bitches in there getting fucked, man. <laughs> Quagmire's mom. Hey, I, I, yeah, we got to be cl- politically correct here. Quagmire's mom. <laughs> but speaking of searching for love and stuff like that, man, I had something else, but I want to actually talk about this instead, potentially. Mm-hmm. You know, we got time, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I know y'all brothers out there, you know, searching for love and stuff like that, and whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I know DJ and Rob, they tired of, they tired of the whores. 
Tired you know, of meat. Whores had they run. Whores had they run. I'm sure that applies too. You know, sometimes you get tired of choking your Johnson. Oh. You know what I'm saying? DJ, you want to oh. get to the point where you don't have to get that big ass bottle of cocoa butter no more, you know, and shit like that. You don't got to do that. So, you know. What? So you so you looking for love, you yeah, know? You know, you're on the dating apps, jerking with jerks, and uh, yeah, uh, he don't get no. He got that that Walmart yeah, cocoa butter. That but you get the cocoa ass. butter, but that's the relation, you know, jerking with jerks. I don't you got the cocoa okay. butter, you know. Right, 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 right. It makes sense. Anyways, but besides the point, that's besides the point. It is people out here searching for love. They're searching long and wide, and they some people are just having trouble. I'm not even necessarily talking about y'all necessarily, mm. but just everyone I talk to. Mm. I'm lucky I'm out of that part of the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At this moment in time, I'm out that. I, I, I do not want to go back because mm. it's just some bullshit. And it's, I think it's just getting worse. It's crazy how much worse it's already got. Mm. I met my girl on Hinge, okay? I met her on Hinge. I was in there. I wasn't even necessarily looking for a girlfriend. That's part of it. But I was accepting side missions. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> you know, you know, get your XP up, things like that. Get that new armor. You know, you want that thing, the new <laughs> outfit you're going for, things of that nature, whatever. Besides, that's besides the point. Attribute I got out there, thank the Lord. You know, thank the Lord. Tell them my homies. I'm like, listen, you struggling to get a girl? Go on Hinge. I met my girl on Hinge. Go on, go on Hinge. Like, oh, I don't like them dating now. I don't like them dating now. It's like, nigga, just try. Get a couple, get a few good pictures, go on there. You know what I'm saying? But it's like all my homies I'm telling to go on here and see dating apps is running into the same problem every time. I talked to my homie. I talked to one of my homies at work. He said, man, I keep going on there, bro. I went on there, and all I saw was fat bitches, man. <laughs> all I saw was fat bitches. And I'm like, come on, man. I mean, I know I was on there. Of course, I had, I saw my fair man. share of the big women, but it wasn't to that extent. I did not know there was. It was it wasn't to that extent. I talked <laughs> to another homie. He said the same thing. Ain't nothing but big old women on there, man. Ain't nothing but big old one, big ones on there. So I talked to another one. All oh, men, just big ones. God damn. Ain't nothing oh but God. ain't nothing but fupa females on there. Ain't nothing but that on there. Ain't nothing. No, I'm going. I'm talking to like five, like six. Six fellas and they saying the same shit. <clears throat> Talk to Rob. He go on there. He said he got some matches, man. But he's long pause. He said, my man, ain't no more fat bitches on there. I said this can't be. This can't be. This has to be. Like it can't be this many. Cause I remember seeing my fair share. But it wasn't that many. So I go to Rob's phone and I'm going through them for him. And I kid you not, it was nine consecutive. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't talking about chubby. I mean, they big as hell, like overflowing job of the hut, big as hell. I'm talking oh. four, five point seven five niggas wide. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bitches Damn. looking like they melting. I'm going through like oh, she big, she big as hell. She fat. Oh, she fat too. Melting. She fat crazy. and she shaped and she built weird. She fat, fat and, and she cock eyed. Cock-eyed. That's too much. <laughs> that is too much. Fat and cock eyed. That is so a crazy. triple whammy. They are looking for love, man. You, man, you, you know you're looking where? Look at where she look at the same place. She I ain't fixated on nothing she need be looking at. You don't know what the hell she's looking That's at. Fucked, she got girl. she look at the eyes on too many things at the same time. I'm talking one eye is straightforward. Other eye why are her, are her eyes at a 90 degree angle? What the fuck is going on? This is fucked up, bro. She got frontal and peripheral vision all the same. Like you know, saying she I'm saying her peripheral, she don't got peripheral. On her left side, on that left eye, it ain't peripheral. This is crazy. She got a full view. So you got mm. King Julian eyes. So ain't no blind know, spot. My, my, my homie always used to say we was to get on the game. He say some crazy shit all the time. You know, you know. I, I'm used to one with one liners, but he hit me with mm. one one day, and, I, and this, this isn't a good time to use it. He said, <clears throat> he said you can't you can't be too choosy. You know, your your future wife might be either pissing in the alley or stuffing her face with Popeye biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's all crazy as hell, but that she might be drunk, What's pissing in the alley, yeah, or stuffing her face with Popeyes. Yeah, you don't know what the hell she could yeah. be doing, right? Yeah, yeah so yeah. you know, maybe in those consecutive nine, Rob, you probably missed your one. That's what I'm saying. But my point being is that what? you have to find the diamond in the rough. You got to keep going because I went on, I went on, and I there was about I went to about 25. I would say about 22 of the motherfuckers was big as hell. They was very big. They was very large. They eating good up here in Illinois. I don't know what the hell going on. Um, I get, the food is great in the area. Yeah, the, the tacos, tacos, them tacos be hitting. I knocked down four of them, five of them, <laughs> my motherfucking self, goddamn. But um, they not stopping. They eating them motherfuckers relentlessly. Mm. Pork thighs, all of that. Let's pin this comment. Let's pin this comment right here. Man. All of that. We got just inflation. One good girl is not worth a thousand bitches no more. Oh, that's mm. bars. That's bars. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if it's computed. Oh, he said one girl's not worth a thousand bitches. The Kanye shit. Yeah. Mm. 
I mean, I guess it's tough when you can, when you're, yeah, when, when you have literal inflation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be worth a thousand, you know, worth a thousand of those. That's a lot. Like you Shout doing out to that. Mario, man. That was Shout good. out, man. You talking good. about? Ew, you talking about a thousand three hundred fifty, four hundred pounders? Yeah, I'm not. That's about the weight range I was seeing. Moving man, the average man. was two seventy five. Nigga, you just described about twenty six miles worth of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm yeah, trying to tell was, you. Hey, they was real big, man. And, you know, I'm trying to change. But you got to find. I'm trying to change, man. You know, I'm trying to accept the tortas, you know what I'm saying? If it's not a torta, there's some pretty ones torta, out there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Little but I did find a few diamonds in the rough I'm on the app. And they cool, man. They cool. They cool. Mm. I'm still Good on my people. journey, man. Well, DJ, just keep looking. You're not trying hard to get you some decent pictures. <laughs> yeah, get some decent pictures. Enough. Y'all niggas be... <laughs> Y'all niggas be taking these these photos, these mirror selfies, and this, this dingy ass lighting. It look terrible, <laughs> nigga. You look musty. I'm just being honest. You may you may smell Jeez. great, but you hey, look musty. Hey. So that I'm just saying. I got I'm that just whole game to, I'm just out, trying to tell man. you. I'm just trying to tell you. I but advocate for the niggas that are dusty. There's a bitch that's probably out there. Oh, that's that's one. But thing is, you dusty. You gotta you gotta embrace the dust. You got too many niggas that don't got no skin in the game. They don't got nothing nothing at all, and they trying to go get eights, nines, and tens. Motherfucker, settle. Ain't nothing wrong. You got to get your game. You use foes and below to get the flow. Yeah, Simple. Man. Like, bro, yeah, you, might, a bar. You, on, you, bro. you might have to fuck with a couple bitches who pH balance ain't too, I'm saying, too correct. Bro. Y'all niggas, y'all oh niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas trying to go shop at Whole Foods. Meantime, you really need to be at five below. Facts. <laughs> and that's not finance friendly. And sometimes you need to go to Dollar General if you well, really low. I'm trying to tell you. Five and below. Food, folk, less. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Y'all be so, y'all be so motherfucking uh, 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 prideful. Y'all yeah. don't want to go in there. Whole time, y'all niggas don't want to go inside of Aldi. Whole time, Aldi got some great shit in there. They do. Yeah. Facts. Some got gems. Some great, got some gems in there. Hey, they do. Stuff that's better than these other places. Mm. Actual. Fresh food, fresh produce. But you know what I'm saying? You they don't know. got no bags, though. You got some off brand stuff. Don't have bags. Don't have bags. You don't got no bags, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to carry your own weight. Nigga. You got to do some shit. <laughs> carry your own weight. Do some shit yourself. Get, get your hands dirty. That's a funny way to say that. I'm just trying to say, you niggas know, you be giving up too early. And you just need to go. You know what I'm saying? You, you just, and, and, yeah. I don't know, man, but I feel like that's for me personally, it's just, it's a little bit tougher. Because, you know, most women are going on dating apps looking for the Prince Charming. You know, the nigga that's tall. See, no. that's what y'all fuck it up. Fuck me. That. That true. You mean? I don't think that's just a mindset thing, bro. That's, that's, mindset. Mindset. that's not true. Just get on that mother. You gotta get on that motherfucker. I'm telling you, you gotta yeah. get on there. And you gotta be patient. Y'all go days with like, oh, I only got a couple few likes. Nigga, you a dude. And you not Michael B. Jordan, nigga. Yeah. So yeah, you're not gonna get all that. You you gotta realize this there's a fairly a large amount of women who really don't get attention at all. Uh, that there's no, no, that they no, have no that. There there's but a, I'm there not saying to go for that though. There's a caliber. <laughs> there is a caliber of women that don't get much attention. That's Nigga, true. those nine consecutive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they that's was why, not that's getting why I that switched. much. Yeah, that's why I just switched up. What <laughs> <laughs> DJ? DJ, stop that. The nine consecutive. See, you over there laughing. You over there laughing at them. See, <laughs> no, it is the fact hey. that you said that. Nine, nine consecutive, consecutive is crazy. Is crazy. I, wow. I can't. I was counting. I'm not exaggerating. And those nine motherfuckers, I measured at least fifty five hundred pounds. Damn. Yeah, damn. they was heavy, heavy set. They are in between. Got to be. I feel like five heavy duty. Is wide eat. Yes. Yes. That big. I promise you, motherfuckers is overflowing out their clothes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's oh true my. though. Okay, you know what? I'll save it for motherfuckers the go like Squidward when he had them crappy patties. Yes. I, I would save it for the Patreon because that, that's 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 one another bone to pick. I but got. But what about them clothes? But it's this this it's, okay. Let's let's move on. Um, um, we'll close the statement. We need, yeah, we need some we need some wisdom, Robert. Oh, all right, man. Uh, you know, I just be going through stuff, and you know, you lose, you lose people in your life, you lose friends. Just don't wait to tell people how much you care about Thanks. them, man. You gotta show that love. Don't wait till the motherfucker dead, all right? Because you might not ever get that chance again. Show your appreciation, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I did want to take it back to the dating thing. One of my love languages. Yeah. One of my love languages. To just to relate it to the topic is words of affirmation. Yeah. And just to show that appreciation and that respect, it builds that base bond between you and another person. And you just got to show love. Mm -hmm. You just got to show love. Mm -hmm. Give them they flowers while they can smell it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say it again for them. Give them they flowers while they can smell it. Oh. Oh. That was bars. That was bars. 
I like that a lot, man. Yeah, a lot of times, y'all. Yeah, niggas just be waiting too long to say shit and mm-hmm. shit just pass by. Oh, I've yeah. seen that firsthand. Seen that firsthand from a few brothers. So I said, yeah. stop being so picky. <laughs> you trying to go to Whole Foods, get your ass at five below. Yeah, hey, that is bars. It trickles in everything, man. You missing, you missing matches. <laughs> no, you missing matches. <laughs> just reevaluate yourself, too. <laughs> oh man the last thing that i did want to talk about though is you know we all go through turmoil and we all go through pain in our lives and it make us act crazy we do crazy things you know but you got to hold yourself accountable all right right your pain is understandable but your behavior is not justifiable you understand mm-hmm. keep spinning keep going your pain is not justifiable. I understand we all go through everything, but that doesn't give you right to act like a fucking jackass. Bars. Nice. It's nice right there. Man, I gotta go in deeper. Oh, yeah. Cause something just happened to me recently. I ain't gonna name drop yeah. or nothing, but it's a fucking friend. Okay. And, and we go way back, all the way back to we second need. grade. And she had beef with somebody else and she hit my phone because she seen me in a picture talking shit, talking about fuck you, fuck you, bitch, all this, that, that, oh, this, Lord. that, and the third. And they came up to the same place that night trying to be all buddy, buddy with me. Bitch, fuck you. Lick one. The left one preferably. You know, we I, I feel like we should just start throwing tomatoes at people again. You know, like, <laughs> not like I I feel like I, I have a couple of tomatoes for some of these bitches, man. I got a couple. Yeah. Boo! Hell <laughs> <laughs> no! That would be convenient though. That yeah, I turn that into a business. Yeah, you got idea. a backpack. Just throw it out there. <laughs> on some Mr. Crab they, they won't expect that shit either. On some Mr. Well, Crab shit. You have a gun. I right. put out free tomatoes. Let a few people get some. And then when they all start, and then I just slap a, like a dollar sign on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take twenty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa, start throwing the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, you start yeah. throwing tomatoes at motherfuckers again. That'd be very nice. That'd be very. Do they nice. still do that at like comedy shows and shit? They should. But that's throw, fucked up. They throw stuff up on stage. Yeah, that's fucked up. You man. get booed off. That's but, fucked up. I wonder if that's actually. Like, I'm sure it actually has happened. But like, where the fuck they get the tomatoes from? That's a pre-planned attack. (laughs) That's that's definitely definitely a pre-planned attack. Definitely. But you also got to think way back when, before people was just moving tomatoes through the through the freezers and shit, they used to be sweet. Motherfuckers might be walking around eating a tomato or something. Like, oh, he's supposed to. Oh, this guy fucking sucks. (laughs) Yeah, they were sweet. People literally used to just take bites out of tomatoes. They were getting freshly grown in their towns and shit. I've heard that. Tomatoes were like really a big thing. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers used to eat them. Motherfuckers. What the fuck? So what happened? Um, it's just over time, you know, they start getting transported through freezers and shit. It loses its taste, loses quality. Rada rada. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's bound to happen. Mm. That justifies it also being a fruit. You know, and some niggas be like, okay. Mm. Not just, like, it's niggas like that get on my nerves. <laughs> like, you know, I said, that's why I asked like, my favorite fruit. And I say, like, tomatoes. I put tomatoes up there. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, oh, you can't say that. I kiss my black ass. Wait, why do <laughs> you say tomatoes, though? Because tomatoes are great. That's your favorite fruit, though? It's up there. It's up there for me. It's top five for sure. Top five, easy. I like, top five, not I five. Like, I like tomatoes. Wow. I like tomatoes too. Isn't I know my favorite. You like tomatoes? Because tomatoes, oh. like, you got to think of the versatility of that tomato. For right. niggas, I like ketchup. I'm not the biggest fan, but then, you know, you got ketchup, you got mm. pasta sauce, you got mm. pizza sauce. Pizza. Mm. You put it on your burger, your sandwiches mm. and shit. And this is a fruit. And it's a fruit. It's a great like, fruit. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Make a good argument. Hell, motherfucking yeah. That's a good argument. So, you need a way. Either way, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Yes, Black Street Boys Show episode number the ciento. That's how you say that shit. I'm trying to get yep. used to saying practicing ciento tre, ciento tre, ciento tre. Okay, yeah, yeah, we gone, nigga. No deal, no doubt. Fifty more, getting that Patreon three dollars spare change. Still got some more going on, man. So when I take a shower, I think like boys. Hey, boys, yo, yo, yo.